Hey guys, Mishka here. We're going to get going right away. This is going to be all about Musketeer and how to play in high-level shards. I uh, use the same four orbs, Weakness, Renew, Shield, and Cure Wounds. And um, my rotation is as follows. Bounce Shield, Bounce Renew, Bounce Cure Wounds. Ah, not Cure Wounds. Uh, bounce Shield, Bounce Renew, and Bounce Weakness. Keep your turret charged with Cure Wounds. Uh, you don't bounce Cure Wounds because when I did, as you see, I've now got aggro. And uh, that can be bad if you're not prepared for that. But luckily I was prepared for it. Party was prepared to, you know, keep me uh, keep me safe. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the entire rotation. Bounce sheer shield, bounce renew, and bounce weakness. Um, whenever you have a caster like that, it's nice to keep an eye on it and bounce things off the caster. That way you interrupt the shield. Um, we are going to skip around a little bit uh, for time's sake. So we skipped ahead to another one of the tough groups, and we're going to double time here because it's pretty much the same thing. Um, you can watch it back at half speed on YouTube, which is awesome. That'll give you approximately the right speed. But what you're going to see here is I'm bouncing shield, bouncing renew, bouncing weakness. And whenever possible, I'm bouncing it off the caster. That way, like I said, I can interrupt the, um, the shielding. Uh, we did have one DPS not currently here, which is why things were going a little bit longer. And then one DPS dies to uh, Reflective Strikes. This is a Reflective Strike chart. Whenever that happens, you do want to keep an eye on your DPS because uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to take it as a challenge and they're going to try to kill themselves. That's what happened here. One of our DPS was like, ooh, Reflective, I'm going to hit the Reflecting one. I wasn't paying attention and they died. Um, I've also got my turret on damage because, like I said, we only had one DPS up at the time. So it was taking a little bit of time. Thus the editing and scrubbing forward. Uh, you're going to see here I keep bouncing off the caster. Yay, Scott showed up to the DPS. That means that things are going to go a little bit faster because he's a pretty good scoundrel. Uh, so we're killing things here. Again, bouncing shield, bouncing renew, bouncing weakness, and I keep cure wounds on my turret. We're back in normal speed now. We're going to go to the next group here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. There's a bounce shield. Bounce Renew, and you're going to see I bounce it off uh, different targets this time because the party is spread out and uh, the bounce um, radius is large but not, you know, incredible. So I try to find whoever, whatever enemy is closest to the majority of the group that needs the healing, um, and I will bounce off that. So in this case, I'm bouncing things uh, over by the DPS to make sure that they stay topped off. And every now and then I'm looking over at the tank. It's only two non-elites, so the tank should be fine. Um, and then with everything that I'm bouncing and the fact that nobody's hitting the caster up here, uh, usually I'll end up with aggro on the caster and that's why I, re uh, I'm always moving. I'm always sliding around to dodge those bolts. That way I don't have to worry about looking at the bolts. So refresh the turret, toss it up, hit it with the cure wounds, forgot that it was on damage. Oh, well, it's damaging enemies or healing the tank as need be. And again, bouncing shield, bouncing renew, bouncing weakness. Um... I'm pretty much always charging something. And by, if you're not sure what I mean by bounce, um, one of the talents, if you shoot a charged orb on an enemy, it will explode and hit everybody in a radius. That's what I mean by bouncing. That is a huge, huge part of the play style for the Musketeer. So you're going to see I bounced a shield. I'm bouncing a cure to keep, keep Ewok alive and try to pull aggro. Uh, bounced shield again. Bounced a renew right there. And as I bounce it, everybody's being affected by it. A weakness, that way there's 5% extra damage. Bounce shield, bounce renew, everything is being charged. Um, Musketeer is incredibly easy to play. This is 90% of, of the, the game as a Musketeer when you're in high level content. It's just bounce shield, bounce renew, bounce weakness. So next group here, and again, like I said, we're going to be skipping around. Um, you're not going to see me take on every group because uh, <laughs> the longer this video is, the longer it takes to render and the less time I have to play Orbis. And I'm trying to push out these videos this weekend. So, bounce shield, bounce renew. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why I'm bouncing off the caster there because these guys shouldn't be taking damage. And if they do get hit by a bolt, they're going to be one shot. So that's not who I should be focusing on. I think it's just so I can get the interrupts. But again, you don't need to focus on that. Um, the elite melee can hurt. So I should have been focusing on the tank, but I trusted that Ferocious would be fine with a single elite. And she was because she's awesome. So again... Just bouncing renew, bouncing shield, hitting it with a weakness. And uh, if somebody's health drops below 50%, I'll hit them with a cure wounds. Or I'll, uh, you know, keep it on the turret. So here we go, boss one. You're going to see the same rotation here. Bounce renew. 
Not sure what I'm holding off for. There's a weakness. Bounce shield. And the reason I bounce is because the um, the bosses typically have a much bigger hitbox than um, the tank does. So it's just easier to hit them. All right, we're taking it over to the blue. And you're going to see, yep, I'm bouncing shield. Bouncing renew. I'll hit it with a weakness. I don't have to bounce at weakness because, you know, you only have to hit one person. Um, I am going to do a few things wrong here near the middle and end of this fight. Um, we're just going to pretend like this is intentional so you know what not to do. It wasn't me just screwing up. So, still bouncing shield, bouncing renew, hitting it with a weakness. You're going to see that's 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 the secret to high-level musketeer. I think Ferocious' health dropped there, so I hit her with a with a cure wounds just to be safe. Uh, I'll often get distracted. So there's a cleansing wave. I hide. Hit it with a weakness. Uh, I am getting some rubber banding here. My my internet was acting weird. I live in a swamp, basically. It's the state of Florida. Uh, refresh the turret. Hit it with a cure wound so that it gets extra healing. Now you're going to notice I'm in between two pillars right now. This is not where you want to be. You want to be by one of the pillars. Because if I'm this far away, watch what happens when it does its cleansing wave. Uh, I'm going to get totally toasted here. So, keeping Ferocious alive, I see the cleansing wave, I try to get over, oh, I unbent, but I hit myself with the cure wounds. That's what the cure wounds is for. And uh, that's why I run with unbending, so that if I make a mistake, I can fix it. So. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I do like to go to whichever pillar uh, the tank is going to, just so that I can ensure that I heal the tank uh, to the best of my ability. I like to stay close to my tanks. Bounce shield, hit it with weakness, hit it with renew, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old. Cleansing wave again, hide. Uh, but yeah, a lot of that comes from me being a bard main. Uh, since our crescendos take a while to get to the target, I like to stay close to the tank so they get the heals quickly. Um, I do the same thing as a musketeer. I stay nice and close. That way, pretty much as soon as I shoot, it bounces and uh, hits the tank. If DPS needs heals, they'll let me know, and I can turn around, shoot them a life well, maybe a, a renew or something, move the turret, and bounce a cure wounds if need be. There's a renew. Okay, so here I messed up. Uh, I did not get to heal her in time, and I'd already used my res. So we were without a tank. Uh, luckily, the DPS that we had are really good, and they know that as soon as the boss gets to them, they hit stock combat which will move them off the aggro table and uh, basically lose aggro. So we skipped ahead a bit here uh, because the really every, everything is the same. Bounce shield, bounce renew. Uh, bounce weakness. You know, just keep your team alive. As long as you're bouncing shield, bouncing renew, bouncing weakness, everybody should be fine. If they get hit by a bolt or something, that's their fault. Uh, you cannot heal through one shot. That's actually one of the, the jokes that I was making in the shard. Um, which the, the audio is muted for. But one of the jokes was, I cannot heal through bolts, I cannot heal through one-shots, I cannot heal through incompetence. And, uh, yeah, just, just me being snarky and, and teasing my friends, because we were all dying uh, during some of the stuff I skipped, <laughs> including me. We all died to bolts. Um, so don't get caught up thinking, oh, this is such a smooth run, these guys are pros. No, we're, we're having fun. We got killed quite a bit. I just skipped through that part. Um, so... Again, I'm bouncing things off the casters, uh, trying to get those interrupts as soon as those shields come up. Bouncing shield, bouncing renew. Uh, because I was having some internet problems and some latency, I did not heal Mistkeeper uh, as a musketeer. I let Scott do that, and I switched to Scoundrel. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see any Mistkeeper healing here, but I do have a video specifically on healing the Mistkeeper. So, if you'd like to see that, just go ahead and search through my channel. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So, we're going to skip ahead now uh, to an Abandoned Mines 11. Uh, just a, a different shard, you know, so you can see more of the, the rotations. Uh, because there are some enemies here that use poisons and shadow marks, I will switch to decurse occasionally just to be safe because those poisons can hurt. So you're going to see here I bounce shield. I bounce renew during the interrupt phase. Um, I didn't get the second interrupt, so I bounced a decurse and immediately pulled the shadow mark off of Scott. He got hit by a fireball, I think, uh, and only took half his health and damage, so I'm not sure how, but I just hit him with a, a cure wounds to top him off. Uh, not really worried about any dots over here. Now that pistoler uh, hurts. 
all pistolers do a lot of damage. So what you can do is they, they don't know how to shoot up or down hills. So people will, will sit up on the hills to avoid being uh, hit by them. Uh, Scott's a pretty good tank. He knows how to deal with it. We have a big group here, so I think I think we're going to wipe and uh, and I do a little cut to avoid extra time. But basically, if the tank dies, I'll bounce a cure wounds to try to pull aggro as much as I can. That way the DPS can kill as many things as possible uh, before they drop. Just kind of give them some more time, since uh, it's going to be a party wipe. It's going to happen. Might as well just do what I can to prolong it and get as many things killed as possible. So we reawakened, we're back here. Uh, you're going to see, again, bounce shield, bounce renew, bounce weakness. And if anybody gets to low health or I want to pull aggro, I'll bounce a cure wounds. Um, I, I'm bouncing cure wounds on the pistoler there to try to pull aggro on him. That way he's focused on me since I'm uphill. I know I'm safe. Uh, it looks like Ewok's got the aggro and he's sitting behind a rock. So the rock is taking the bullet, not him. So he's safe. Uh, that's why I gave up on bouncing that to try to take aggro. Uh, let me see here. Yep, bouncing a cure wounds. Uh, Scott has plenty of aggro at this point, so I'm not too concerned about bouncing cure wounds. Um, once you get, you know, 10 seconds or so into a fight, uh, you should be good to bounce them, assuming your tank knows how to manage their aggro. And uh, I will have another video discussing aggro, how to gain it, how it works, uh, hopefully today as well. So we finish that off, and we're going to move along. I don't think I, there's no cuts for the next couple of minutes here. So we move forward, we're going to pull a group, and again, it's going to be the same exact thing. I, I, I cannot emphasize just how easy it is being a musketeer. You bounce shield, you bounce renew, you bounce weakness. Uh, keep your turret up, and keep your turret charged with cure wounds. Follow the rotation, and, and you should be good. Really, the only time that I uh, that I deviate from it is uh, Mistkeeper. Mistkeeper requires a special rotation. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other bosses. Uh, I changed my rotation for Citadel Boss 1 and Citadel Boss 3. Uh, Guild City Boss 4 is a little bit different. And Boss 5 is a little bit different. But I think for the most part, everything else in the entire game, if you're running group content or, or end game, you know, shards, dungeons, raids, and all that, uh, it's Bounce Shield, Bounce Renew. Bounce weakness. Uh, why do I use weakness instead of poison? Because poison does a pitiful amount of damage. Weakness will increase everybody else's damage by 5%. That can add up. That That's fairly significant. If you've got a party that's doing, say, 200k damage, that's another, uh, what, 10... Uh, yeah, 10k, I think. It's better than the, uh, like... 1 point whatever k that your uh your poison is going to do so weakness is great so you see that vodka is sitting up there on top of the rock as the pistol was shooting at her couldn't hit her i think it switched uh oh it's gonna res and then it switches aggro uh so it reses as soon as i see that i bounce secure wounds because i want to keep my dps safe and i know that if i go up here and i have aggro my dps will be safe um, it was kind of switching around a bit, and I, what I was really worried about was it going after Ducky, who's the shaman down there. Uh, if it's going after Ducky, that could be bad, because she's not on an incline. Um, so I'm a little worried about that. Trying to get those interrupts when I can, with those shard shots. Um, if something reses, I'll try to take aggro, that way it doesn't go towards uh, one of the DPSs. Since I have better survivability than the DPS do, uh, I'll take aggro and I'll let my tank know. So in this case, I pulled aggro and I let Scott know, hey, there was a res. Uh, I pulled the aggro. It's here whenever you want it. Just uh, communicate with your tank. So that one res, as you saw, I shot it to pull aggro, bounce the shield. And you saw Scott kind of move past me. He went to go grab it off of me because we are a well-oiled machine. Uh-oh, somebody died. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, it might have been a fireball. It might have been my fault. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember at this point. So, bouncing shield, bounce renew, hit him with a weakness. Um, as soon as this guy goes down, we're going to skip ahead to the elite up here. Uh, same thing for elite, same thing for group, same thing for everything, really. Bounce shield, bounce renew, put my turret up. And I think I bounce cure wounds here to keep everybody topped off. And I know Scott's got plenty of aggro, so I'm not going to steal it from him. 
and it charges the uh, the turret too. So you're seeing I'm holding on to these uh, these charge shots. I'm doing that so that I'm prepared to hit that uh, interrupt. Because the longer he has that interrupt bar, the uh, more he's going to heal. And we don't want him to heal. We want this to go by quick. We want to murder these guys. So bounce shield, bounce renew, hit him with a weakness. And again, charging everything. Um, if, if, if an enemy has an interruptible ability, sure, go ahead and bounce a weakness too. Um, but yeah, all right, cool. Next group. Uh, I'm not sure if I, yeah, I switched to decurse for this because there is a poisoner or a shadow marker and shadow mark can eat through people's health pretty quick. So if you have, um, if you have a mage, they can decurse that themselves, but that does take time. Ouch, I just got hit by that. That didn't feel good. So I didn't charge my turret on the next one. So I try to interrupt it. If I get it, cool. If not, bounce the decurse. Move my turret a little bit closer and bounce the cure wounds. Pulled a little bit of aggro. That's okay, though. Um, I felt fairly confident that Scott could pull it back, just like he did. Bouncing shield, bounce renew, bouncing weakness. And you're going to see my DPS stays at pretty much full health. Um, they're really not taking any damage, because between all of my healing and all of Scott's aggro, they shouldn't be grabbing aggro. And with all the shielding and renewing that I'm bouncing, plus the turret being up there, if they take damage, that's going to be healed relatively quick. Uh, this next thing we do, I highly recommend you don't do what we're about to do because this is stupid. Uh, pulling one or two of them, awesome. Pulling the entire group, <laughs> that can be a disaster. So uh, I was kind of in panic mode here. Uh, I let his health get down a little bit, and then I bounced to cure wounds to charge the turret and to uh, keep them topped off. Bouncing shield, bouncing renew. Things got hairy here, so I used my ult. It's a good thing we had it. And... Uh, we had plenty of shamans to get all that AoE damage, melted through all of them. Like I said, well-oiled machine. Uh, if I'd known ahead of time we were doing this, I would have swapped D-Curse for Weakness. That way they would have died a little bit faster. But, you know, that's okay. Um, so the boss that's right over here, Dover Gubin, we don't use a healer on it. You typically don't need a healer on it. So uh, we'll skip ahead. All right, so moving along, uh, we went through the next group as well. Um... It's just following the same rotation. You know, it was another group with, with it was fairly easy. So we're going to go through the last group here. Uh, that was a, you know, just bounce, 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 bounce everything. I think you kind of get the idea of, of how to play Musketeer at this point. If you don't have the rotation in mind yet, I'm not sure what else I can do. Bounce shield, bounce renew, bounce weakness. Um, and then for enemy groups like this, having a decrease orb is nice uh, because you can, uh, if, if you miss getting the interrupt, you can decurse it right away. Some tanks like, uh, if they're a paladin, they like getting shadow marked or poison because it's extra pips. Uh, I don't. I prefer having more survivability than more aggro or damage, but you know, it's a personal choice, personal preference. Um, if you can handle it, awesome. If not, that's fine. Thank you, Rupert. And we're going to keep moving along. We've got one last group here that we're going to kill. You know the drill at this point. Bounce shield, bounce renew, bounce weakness. Everything dies. Bounce shield, throw the turret up. And yeah, if it's in the middle of the fight and the turret uh, needs to be refreshed, sometimes I'll charge it, sometimes it won't. It depends on what's left. All right, so uh, we're going to deal with the Scav Shaman now. A really, really fun fight. Um, the rotation here is it's the exact same thing that, that we've been dealing with. Bounce shield, bounce renew, hit it with a weakness. Um, so if I don't have an orb ready, I'll start the charge shot and load it in. So you're going to see, uh, yeah, weakness doesn't need a charge, but you're going to see here I start to charge. I wait for an orb to get ready, and I pop it right away. There we go. There we go. Uh, so puzzling predicament, um, that's going to you know potentially damage your DPS. They're going to take some damage there. So when that happens, uh, there's a couple things you can do. They can either move closer and get the heals, or if you have scoundrels or rangers that would prefer to stay back, uh, you can reposition your turret to be closer to them and then bounce cure wounds off of it. And that should put all of them back up to uh, full health. But as you see here, same thing, just following, you know, making sure I, I follow the mechanics properly. Uh, I was worried about the DPS there, so I bounced cure wounds. Again, Scott had plenty of aggro at this point, so I'm not concerned about that. Put the turret a little bit closer it needs to be refreshed so i charge it because it's a boss fight and i'm at full health and as soon as i get that cure wounds 
Uh, looks like, yeah, it's not terribly vital at that point. Um, whenever I get a minute, I'll do it. So right there, right, a lot of DPS was taking damage. But you're going to see they're all within bounce heal range, so they all get shielded. They all get renewed. And if I bounce to cure wounds, they'll all get the cure wounds. Um, the turret is up and out of the way for pretty much everybody. I like to keep it either very high overhead or almost on the ground. That way it's uh, not in anybody's way. Uh, if we have a ranger or a scoundrel, oh, we just blocked a frost. If we have a ranger or a, fr um, a scoundrel, I'll put it closer to the ground. That way they don't have to worry about it. So that's pretty much it for, for Musketeer. Bounce shield, bounce renew, bounce weakness, cure wounds on your turret. That's it. That is Musketeer in a nutshell. Uh, and then, yeah, at the end of the shard, dance because you're a champion. So I really hope that helps. Um, just keep following the rotation, and for the most part, you should be good. Happy hunting, and I'll see you guys next time.